you have an Azure subscription that contains the storage accounts shown in the following exhibit. Based on the information presented in the graphic, choose the option that completes the statement below. You can use the archive access tier in and the options are Option 1 Contoso 101 only Option 2 Contoso 101 or Contoso 103 only Option 3 Contoso 101 Contoso 102 or Contoso 103 only Option 4 Contoso 101 Contoso 102 or Contoso 104 only and option 5 Contoso 101 Contoso 102 Contoso 103 or Contoso 104 and the correct answer is option 2 Contoso 101 or Contoso 103 only explanation Contoso 101 or Contoso 103 only is correct as tiering in a storage account is supported by only two types of storage accounts blob storage and storage v2 you cannot configure in any other type of storage accounts like storage, file storage, etc. Next question. You purchase a new Azure subscription named Subscription 1. You create a virtual machine named VM1 in Subscription 1. VM1 is not protected by Azure Backup. You need to protect VM1 by using Azure Backup. Backups must be created at 1 and stored for 30 days. What location should you choose to store the backups? And the options are Option 1 A blob container Option 2 A file share Option 3 A recovery services vault Option 4 A storage account And the correct answer is Option 3 A recovery services vault Explanation A recovery service vault is correct as all the backups configured using Azure native backup service are stored in recovery service vaults. A blob container, a file share, and a storage account are incorrect options as your backup service directly stores the backups in recovery service vault only. Hence, we cannot use these services. Next question. You purchase a new Azure subscription named Subscription 1. You create a virtual machine named VM1 in Subscription 1. VM1 is not protected by Azure Backup. You need to protect VM1 by using Azure Backup. Backups must be created at 1 and stored for 30 days. What object would you use to configure the protection for VM1? And the options are Option 1 A Backup Policy Option 2 A Bad Job Option 3 A Bad Schedule Option 4 A Recovery Plan and the correct answer is Option 1 A Backup Policy Explanation A backup policy is correct as Azure Backup uses a policy to define the frequency and the type of backup for virtual machines. Hence, we need to create a policy to start the backup. A bad job is incorrect as a bad job is used to run compute processes against the application to process the data in groups. Hence, it is not correct. A bad schedule is incorrect as it is used to schedule and run off bad jobs and cannot be used with Azure Backup Service. Hence, it is not used. A recovery plan is incorrect as Azure Backup works according to the configurational settings defined on the backup policy. Recovery plan is used to define the parameters while performing the disaster recovery of your infrastructure. Next question. You have an Azure Linux virtual machine that is protected by Azure Backup. One week ago, two files were detected from virtual machine. You need to restore the deleted files to an on-premises computer as quickly as possible. Which four actions should you perform in sequence? And the options are Option 1 2, 3, 5, 7 Option 2 1, 5, 2, 6 Option 3 3, 5, 7, 4 Option 4 6, 4, 7, 2 And the correct answer is Option 3 3, 5, 7, 4 
Three five seven four is correct. As following is the order you should be doing to retrieve the files. Step one: In the backup dashboard menu, click File Recovery. Step two: From the Select Recovery Point drop-down menu, select the recovery point that holds the files you want. Step three: To download the software used to copy files from the recovery point, click Download Executable for Windows Azure VM or Download Script. For Linux Azure VM, a Python script is generated. Step 4. Copy the files by using azcopy. azcopy is a command line utility designed for copying data to or from Microsoft Azure blob. Next question. You have an Azure DNS zone named adatom.com. You need to delegate a subdomain named research.adatom.com to a different DNS server in Azure. What should you do? Well, the options are create an A record named research in the adatum.com zone. Option 2. Create a PTR record named research in the adatum.com zone. Option 3. Modify the SAO record of adatum.com. Option 4. Create an NS record named research in the adatum.com zone. And the correct answer is Option 4. Create an NS record named research in the adatum.com zone. Explanation. Create an NS record named research in the adatum.com zone is correct. As we need to create a name server record for the zone in order to delegate the subdomain to another DNS server. Create an A record named research in the adatum.com zone. Create a PTR record named research in the adatum.com zone and modify the SOA record of adatum.com are incorrect as these options would not help in delegating, the in delegating the research domain to another DNS server as we are modifying the settings or records in the initial DNS zone hence we cannot use this. You have an Azure subscription that contains the resources shown in the following table. You plan to restore the backup to a different virtual machine. You need to restore the backup to VM2. What should you do first? And the options are Option 1 From VM2, install the Microsoft Azure Recovery Services Agent. Option 2 From VM1, install the Windows Server Backup feature. Option 3 From VM2, install the Windows Server Backup feature. And Option 4 from VM1, install the Microsoft Azure Recovery Services Agent. And the correct answer is Option 1. From VM2, install the Microsoft Azure Recovery Services Agent. Explanation. From VM2, install the Microsoft Azure Recovery Services Agent is correct, as we need to register the machine VM2 to the same recovery service vault. And once done, we can restore the backed up data to another machine from VM1. From VM1, install the Windows Server Backup feature and from VM2, install the Windows Server Backup feature are incorrect options. As here, we have configured the backup using Azure Backup Service which installs the Microsoft Azure Backup, snap in the server. Hence, we cannot use this. From VM1, Install the Microsoft Azure Recovery Services Agent is incorrect as we do not need the Mars Agent on VM1 as it already has one. We need the Mars Agent on the another machine on which we are planning to restore the files. Hence, this option is not used. Next question. You have an Azure storage account named Storage1 and a Recovery Services Vault named Vault1. The Storage 1 account contains a container named Container 1. You need to ensure that you can recover the data in Container 1 for up to 90 days. What should you do? And the options are Option 1. Configure Blob Service Data Protection for Storage 1. Option 2. Create a backup policy in Vault 1. Option 3. Enable File Share Soft Delete for Storage 1. And Option 4. Create a stored access policy for container 1. And the correct answer is 
Option 2. Create a backup policy in Vault 1. Explanation Create a backup policy in Vault 1 is correct as we need to set up a backup for our storage account so that we can restore the data for up to 90 days. Configure Blob Service Data Protection for Storage 1 is incorrect as data protection is more focused on the security of data that is stored in the storage account. Hence, it is not used. Enable file share soft delete for storage 1 is incorrect as we need to restore the data from container 1 and not from a file share. Hence, we cannot use this. Create a stored access policy for container 1 is incorrect as it is used to provide an extra layer of security over the SaaS tokens. It cannot help in setting up the capability of restoring the data after 90 days. Hence, it cannot be used. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.